Hello, I'm the Budget Mudder and this is episode 2 of my Copper State Models 132nd Cauldron G3. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. Here we are with episode 2. We'll be carrying on with the rigging of the cockpit walls. So, without further ado, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and crack on. We'll pop that over there and let the super glue set. While that's setting, let's get the rudder cabled up, shall we? Here we go. One rudder all cabled up. Let's pop that over there. Next up, the cockpit floor and seating arrangements, as well as a bit of cockpit wall rigging thrown into the mix. What? A bloke multitasking? Not here. Please, move along. Nothing to see. Two of the seat holds need holds holes need drilling out to 1.2 mm to allow for the P seat belts to be placed in there. So let's get that done. Seats cleaned up, holes drilled, it's now time for the PE belts.
there we have the seat belts done. Now for a bit more cockpit rigging. That's that bit of the cockpit rigging done. And again, let's pop it to one side, allow it to set properly. Next, we can get the control column and rudders fitted to the cockpit floor. There we have the control column and a rudder fitted to the cockpit floor. Next, we're going to fit the cockpit firewall. So let's crack on with that. There we have the firewall fitted and glued into place. Notice that I did test fit it on several occasions. Next, it's time for the parts for the cockpit. This includes the battery, the wireless set, and the Morse key. So let's crack on with those. That's those parts ready for priming. Here we're dealing with the clear parts. One piece for the wireless cover and then the windshield. I'm going to be using copy decks for this to mask it up as it's a cheaper alternative to the modelling masking fluids. We now have the wireless cover and windshield masked up, so we'll pop them over there to dry. We rigged up the cockpit earlier, and I put the rigging line straight through the walls of the cockpit. This is where we start to clean it up. I snip the line back as flush as possible with the outer cockpit wall. Then I pop a drop of super glue in there, let it dry. Once it's dried, we'll come back to it and clean it up. That needs to go over there to thoroughly dry. We'll come back to that later. Here is a rest of the cockpit wireless section. On the top of the page, you have the parts. Below that, you have the wiring diagram. Then over the page, you have the cable routing. I'm doing option two, which is without a spark gap, whatever that means. So let's crack on with that. Here we've cut this part into two as it'll be easier to drill than cable. Get ready for some drilling. We're using PCB drill bits. For this one we're using the 0.25mm to drill the holes on these parts.
Here we found out that the 0.2mm copper wire didn't fit the 0.25mm hole. So we got out the 0.3mm PCB bit and expanded all the holes. Now we have those fitting nicely, let's get them glued in. That's those parts done. Here we're sorting out the wireless aerial spool. Good Lord, I jump about. I didn't realize exactly how much. And guess what? Now we're going back to cabling. This time, the battery. battery redrilled, cabled and glued. As the copy decks has dried, it's time to drill out the holes in the wireless cover. So here we go with that. That's the wireless cover drilled and wired to the battery. And this is the cable routing. Anywho, let's get back to the aerial spool. We'll open up the hole at the end of this part. I'm using a scriber to gauge the centre and give my drill a point to drill into, rather than guessing and it's skimming across the surface and wrapping around the part. So let's get on with that. Now for a quick clean up of the battery, then on to drilling out the top holes of the wireless cover. With that done, we're moving on to a bit more cabling of the wireless circuit. I'm being general as I only know the name of the Morse key, not the other two gauges. So, with that out of the way, let's crack on.
Here we're drilling out the holes in the aerial spool. And now we're back to the wireless cover. Now the Morse key. Well, there we are. We flitted around the wireless circuit doing bits and pieces. A little enhancement here, a little enhancement there, and it should look really nice. Anywho, this seems like a good a place as any to end. So thank you for watching episode two of my new build. If you want to see what happens in episode three, then please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modeling. Oh,